The Cali Condors, the doors over there have been standing around for like 10 minutes and I am going to be the very first person in the comp pool this morning. Here we go. Yeah. Joe and I just crushed our aerobic swim. God, we're feeling good now. We are. Oh. Better tonight? I know, I'm gonna feel so much better tonight. I could be wrong, but I think this might be the first time in the vlog that I've been swimming the comp pool. So here it is, everybody. Here it is. I've been promising to do a full walkthrough pool tour of this awesome venue. And that's what we're gonna do today. In case you're wondering, this is the set we did this morning. Five threes, five twos, five ones. Just getting the body going, because tonight we're coming back, we're gonna do pace. We're gonna be really fast tonight. This morning was more aerobic -y swim out stuff. The ISL gave us new caps, and they don't have latex. So I've been strictly wearing silicone caps, which I'm not a big fan of, but you know, what are you gonna do? It's a highly debated topic in the swim world, latex versus silicone caps. Let me know in the comments below what you think. I am team latex. And I used to wear a dome cap over, like a race, like a silicone razor cap over my latex cap. I don't even do that anymore. I don't even care. I don't, I just, there's no right or wrong answer here. Just, I'm just, I'm just interested. So the last vlog I made, I showed this area before it was finished. This is the team area, the box area. And each team thing has one of those like LED screen that lights up and says your team name and stuff. It's, it's, it's really awesome. Also, this is where they've set up the DJ station where the world champion DJ, yeah, they have a a world champion DJ who DJs all of the ISL matches. Now I'm not exactly sure what constitutes a world champion DJ. I assume you have to win a world championship event, which means there must be like a world championships of DJing. Anyways, this is where all of that happens. So you've got warm up pool back there, divider in the middle, which we've talked about, and then the comp pool right here. You're famous now. <laughs> hey, you made it. Ready? Go doors. <laughs> Don't tell Cody. I think we're too boring for the vlog. No. Thank you. You're welcome. Obviously they put up the stage, they finished it since last vlog. They did it in like two days. Like this one up, this one up so fast. During the competition, all the teams sit back here in the, around the diving wall area behind the big curtain. So we're like hidden from the main competition as it's taking place. When call time happens, which is like seven or eight minutes before your race, you walk down this hallway. It's kind of hilarious. They've taped off these edges because the swimmers, not myself, but most swimmers are so tall, they bonk their heads on these, these pillar things. Seating area number one. This is the table where they check your suit to make sure it's FINA approved so that if you break a world record or a European record or whatever, that, it, that it, it's legal. They also check your credential to make sure you are who you say you are. And then you sit down and just wait like a few minutes before you go to staging area number two. They do have a TV back here so that when you're in here, you can see what's going on during the competition. You can also kind of peek your head around the corner. This is staging area number two, but they've moved chairs because people keep tripping over them. This is where you would sit right before you walk out this way to, to your race. Before your race, they usually hold you behind these curtains for about 30 seconds, and then they say, DC Trident's go. And then you do your best not to trip on these stairs as, as you walk out. And then you walk out, either left or right, to your lane. And this is what it looks like. All the lights are on behind you, three giant LED screens. This is what it looks like all lit up about 30 minutes before the session begins. Pretty different, I mean, look at the lights. It's, it, it's a spectacle. They don't even have the lasers going, but once the lasers get going, it gets crazy. In a traditional FINA meet, you would walk out and you might have minutes from the time you walk out to the time you actually take off the block. But here, you walk out and you've got about 30 seconds from the time you take your hoodie off, maybe you've got your shoes on, and then they blow the whistle and you're on the block and it's go, 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 because it's just fast pace, man. So that's pretty much it. Walkthroughs, like staging areas for every major swimming competition is kind of the same, you know, ready room one, red room two, whatever. But I, I like to show you what it looks like. Now there's also a secret warm up pool back here behind these bleachers. And I forgot to film myself walking over there, which kind of would have been helpful. But we did have a practice there the other night and it was a lot of fun. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the secret warm up pool. It's not so secret now, but first time in it. 
Yeah. Let's go. Yeah, Tommy. Yeah. <sighs> All right, here we go. <laughs> Okay. This is a pretty cool indoor four lane 50 meter pool with the dividers in the middle. So they got the 25 meter walls, which is pretty cool. I did not know this pool existed until about 10 minutes ago. I feel like every day at this sports complex that we're located at here for the championship series, like I learn about something new every single day. It's pretty cool that a lot of these over the ground gutter systems have fake flat walls, you know, for like the big competitions with flat walls. So look. They just built this thing. Maybe that's common wherever you, the viewer, are from, but this is new to me. This right here. And these are with the gutters I'm talking about, right? Overflow. There's, there's place for the water to go. I'm big on gutters. We've discussed this, but very cool, huh? These are also very European blocks. You don't see blocks like this really in America. Very cool. The wall all over there says the vibe all the way across. Maybe that's the name of this part of the facility. The vibe, I don't know. This is our awesome guide. She's the best. She's from Naples and she's gonna film me. All right, I believe in you. Oh, that was perfect. Thank you, he's good. Two things that I've noticed about this pool that I like a lot. The clock setup, see, it's at an angle so that you can see the clock perfectly from both sides of the pool and even if you're sitting in the middle on like the Havsey lane. So that's really cool. I've never seen clocks like that. This is like their science pool where they do research and all kinds of really smart stuff. Like I think that's an office with a lot of really smart people that just look to me like I might be kind of crazy. But you know, they've got a TV set up that I imagine feeds in from cameras that they have in the walls. That's a camera, dude. Look. Maybe, yeah. See that? It films all the all the dive stuff. I enjoy swimming at new pools. Lily and I are grossly pale right now, like way too white. We're practically glowing. Anyway, let's get out of here. Back in my hotel room now. Uh, creepy painting, still, still there. Anyways, let's talk about today's sponsor. Today's video is sponsored by Mac Weldon. Long story short, I needed nicer clothing that I could wear out to nice dinners, date nights, et cetera, businessy kind of stuff, but also lounge around it and be comfortable in. And then I found Mac Weldon, match made in heaven. This is one of their Phoenix, very comfortable. They also make compression pants or long underwear, whatever you want to call them. Check these puppies out, see? Compression leggings. Not too tight, also very soft. A uh, little behind the scenes, filming with my big camera here, right in front of my, my window. Now, Mack Weldon has been a sponsor for a little while now, and I have in the past raved about these shorts, the Radius shorts. This is not hyperbole. These are legitimately my favorite shorts in the world. They look quite nice. They've got belt loops. You can wear them to nicer events, but they're stretchy and comfortable, so you can also play sports in them. I've talked about this before. But recently, I learned that they also make a pair of pants. That's right, they make radius pants as well. So similar to their shorts, they've got pants. Now, I have not actually worn these yet because I haven't had a nice night out here in the Netherlands yet, but when I do, these are the pants I'm gonna wear. I'm just assuming that I'm gonna love these pants as much as I love the shorts. Once again, the zip up pockets, hidden side pockets, zip up back pocket, yep. I'm excited. Mack Weldon has a super easy website to use. I've purchased a lot of things on it and I have not been disappointed by anything. For the gentlemen out there that don't wanna think about what they're gonna wear but still wanna look good, Mack Weldon has a radically efficient daily wear system. It's a selection of clothing rooted in smart designs made with performance fabrics that are all built to work together. If you all are interested in the Mack Weldon daily wear system or any of their other awesome products, for 20% off your first order, go to MacWeldon.com slash Cody and enter promo code 
Cody. Thank you all for watching. As always, all the stuff here, social media, if you want a video from me to you, I'm, I'm on Cameo. Lots and lots of videos coming, like lots of videos coming. Until my next video, I will see you guys later.